protecting fisheries, you're not just protecting the fish. You're protecting your waterways, you're protecting your lands. Fish need clean water and, and clean land, just like we need clean air. I'm Joe Snap. I uh, do habitat restoration in the Yankee Fork and the Salmon River. It's um, an area that was uh, dredge mined in the 40s and 50s, so there's a pretty extensive uh, area needing uh, rehabilitation. I work for my uh, tribal agency, uh, Showing Back Tribes Fish and Wildlife Department. I started as a screw trap tender, weir trap tender, and then um, became a biologist, and then now I'm in charge of this restoration program. Essentially, it's uh, restoring or rehabilitating habitats that have uh, been disturbed or, or degraded, usually by anthropogenic disturbance, but um, could be anything from riparian vegetation or rerouting the river in different ways or maybe removing barriers. Seems to be renewed investment in habitat restoration, in particular, um, these low tech process-based restoration efforts, which are um, essentially creating more structure in, in stream channels, particularly smaller streams, and that's becoming a, a focus point for resiliency And because uh, as, um, as you add these structures and slow down the water, you're kind of increasing water storage, which makes it resilient to drought. All the challenges, I think the biggest one is uh, coordinating projects because there's often a lot of uh, interested parties or parties involved or multiple agencies and it's sort of um, identifying goals and that can align with everyone's interests. With the coordination, sometimes uh, things don't go as smooth and the project may not happen. So I think the best outcome is, is doing a project, whatever that might be. For me, my positive outcome is uh, we're trying to um, do restoration in the form that enhances our tribal members' ability to access our traditional resources. So not only improving it for the fish, but improving it as a means for our members to access our traditional lands and practice our cultures and be connected with the resources. So. And I sort of see restoration and involvement in the fisheries as a way to keep connected with those resources and a, and a point of connection that can happen as um, you know, harvest opportunities for are becoming slimmer and slimmer. So it seems for me anyways, that doing the work is part of the connection.